In this problem, we're going to apply Euler's method to the differential equation dy dx equals 1 over x. So here is our general solution, or our slope field. Now we're going to start with the initial condition of 1, 0, and find the solution for when x is equal to 2. We're going to do this using two steps, and then we're going to do it again using five steps. Now, here is our solution curve that has the initial value of 1, 0. So, let's take a look at how we'll perform Euler's method. So first thing we do is we build a table with the number of steps, what our delta x will be, what our x is, what our y is, and then how to calculate our delta y. And those create our columns. Our rows will start with our initial condition, then, our, then however many steps we have. So we have two steps going first. Then the first thing we do is we put in our initial condition, which said that it, when x is 1, y is equal to 0. And the next step is to calculate what our delta x will be. Well, we're going from 1 to 2 in two steps, so our delta x is 1 half, or 0.5. Now that we know our delta x, that's going to be our delta x through the whole problem. So we can calculate what our x values will be. So we're starting at 1 and moving by 0.5 each time. So our x values will be 1, 1 1.5, and 2. So we can do the x values without ever actually doing anything with the differential equation. Now, what we need to do is see how much our y changes by, which means we have to calculate our delta y. Well, our delta y is going to be our slope, or our rate of change, times the amount we're moving in the x direction. That'll always be the calculation. Our slope is going to come from our differential equation, which for this problem was 1 over x. So we're going to calculate our slope by calculating 1 over x, which in our initial condition, x was equal to 1. So our slope is 1 over 1, or just 1. So our delta y, or our change in y, is 1 times 0.5, or times our delta x, which is 0.5. Now that change in y tells us how much we're moving in the y direction, which corresponds to our move in the x direction. So to calculate our new y value, we take our old y value plus our change in y to get our new y value of 0.5. We repeat these steps until we have completed however many steps we have decided to do. So we're going to do this over again. Now, at step, this step, our x value is 1.5, so our slope will be 1 over 1.5, or 2 thirds. So calculating our delta y, we get 2 thirds times our move in the x direction, which is always going to be 1 half, which is 1 third, or as a decimal, about 0.333. So there's our change in y. Adding that to our old y value, we get a final y value of 0.833. Now the solution to this differential equation is ln of x, because the derivative of ln of x is 1 over x. We also had an initial condition of y of 1 equals 0. So our approximate solution is that y of 2 is about 0.833. Our actual solution is that y of 2 is ln of 2, which is about 0.693, so we're a little bit off. Now we can improve our estimate by taking more steps. So let's see what happens if we take five steps. We saw, follow the same procedure. First we calculate our delta x, which is 1 fifth, because the length of our interval is 1, divided by our number of steps, we get 1 fifth, or 0.2, so we can fill in all our delta x's, and since we know our initial condition is 1, 0, we can fill in all our x values. Now we go start calculating our delta y's. We'll do a couple of these, and then I'll have you fill in the rest. So our delta y is equal to our slope times delta x. So for our first point, our slope is just 1 again. So 1 times 0.2, or 0.2, gives us our delta y. Adding that to our initial y value of 0 gives us a new y value of 0.2. So now our x value is 1.2 at this step. So our slope is 1 over 1.2. 
and so we multiply that value by our delta x or 0.2 and as a decimal we get about 0.1667 so that's our delta y remember to calculate our new y value we take our old y value plus our change in y to get our new y value so now why don't you see if you can find the rest of this table and get your estimate for y of 2 so here are our values for the rest of this table with an initial condition of y of 1 equals 0 we saw with two steps y of 2 was about 0.833 with five steps we see that it's about 0.7456 remember we said the actual is about 0.6931 so quite a bit of improvement with five steps over two why do we get an overestimate well let's see why we get an overestimate recall our solution curve notice that it's concave down the way Euler's method works is essentially we're using tangent lines at each of these points. So if we have a graph that's concave down, our tangent lines are always going to lie above the solution curve and we'll get an overestimate. If we have a curve that's concave up, our tangent lines are always going to lie below the curve and thus we'll get an underestimate.